So for my sports news assignment, I found an article titled uh, NFL Fumbles in the Latest Diversity Hiring Grades. So slideshows essentially about the diversity of coaching in the NFL. So there's 32 teams in the NFL, so obviously 32 head coaches, uh, one per team. And as of now, it's dominated by the Caucasian or white race. Um, in the NFL front office with 87.5% of these coaches being white. And with that, there are only three head coaches in the league who are African American. That is Anthony Lynn, the Los Angeles Chargers, Brian Flores of the Miami Dolphins, and Mike Tomlin of the Pittsburgh Steelers. And an outlier is Ron Rivera, who is uh, of the Latino race. And so with the front office, also includes a general manager, so a GM, and then a CEO, who's also known as an owner. So right there, Pete Carroll is the head coach, and then not pictured is uh, John Schneider, the general manager, and then the owner being Paul Allen. So that's the, the Seattle Seahawks front office right there. Uh, so um, mainly what the article was about was a racial and gender test. And um, so it's studied in each professional uh, sport and league including the NCAA, so uh, the NFL, the WNBA, NBA, MLB, and the MLS. Um, and so each grades for those, the NFL back in 2017 had an F, and then just recently in 2019 had a D plus. And then comparing it to other leagues, the WNBA has an A plus, MLB has a B minus. And the MLS has a B plus and the NBA has an A. And so essentially what this uh, report is, is um, it's assist by racial and gender makeup of players, coaches, front office, and the athletic department employees in our country's leading sports organizations. Um, so basically it just measures how diverse uh, each professional league is in their own way. And so obviously the NFL is at the bottom of the pack um, with that current grade they have. So um, there have been a lot of new hires this past off season. Um, so after the 2020 season, um, there were five teams who got n uh, new head coaches, and none of them were of any other race other than just Caucasian. And so uh, those new coaches were Mike McCarthy of the Dallas Cowboys, Matt Rule, Carolina Panthers, Joe Judge of the New York Giants, and Ron Rivera. The Washington Redskins and Kevin Stefanski of the Cleveland Browns. And so what sparked a question in my mind was um, after watching the Super Bowl, the Chiefs have had the best offense for the past couple of years in the NFL um, with Eric Bieniemy, I believe is his name, as the offensive coordinator. And they've been amazing in the past two years with him commanding this offense and all these recent hires have been former college head coaches or former NFL defensive coordinators offensive coordinators I believe Joe Judge was a special teams coordinator last year and they just get hired to new head coaches and you see 
this guy being one of the best in the business can't seem to find a NFL head coaching gig anywhere in the league. So, uh, moving on. Um, so some solutions and just questions for the future. So I think um, just owners and general managers should just focus more on the statistics. Uh, who has the better resume rather than uh, pulling the race card for certain hires? Um, the best man should get the job, such as you know Eric Bieniemy. I think he could be a head coach anywhere in this league and thrive. And then um, starting from commissioner, they should just make a more equal and diverse league. And with doing this, it would raise their grade on the report card as I think it's a bad look just for the NFL entirely as um, it's the most watched sport in our country and one of the most watched around the world. And just a question is just how diverse will the NFL be in the next 10 to 15 years? Um, my opinion of that, I have no idea what could happen, honestly. Um, just there's new coaches year in, year out, and maybe we'll see changes, maybe not. But I just think that three coaches of the African-American race is just a little, little low and... I think changes should be made because the best man should get the job in my opinion and yeah that's it